I was 14 years old. It was during the summer in the valley in the central part of California. It gets past 105, 110 sometimes. Picking up bell pepper, you have to bend down. The bell pepper plant is not any bigger than two and a half feet from the ground. I couldn't keep up, man. It, you know, it's just they had something in them that, that I didn't have at the time. You know, they had a family to feed. You're 14 years old. Who did you think you would be? I was very dedicated to boxing. I was uh, one of the best in the amateurs at the time. I remember going to a national tournament in Mesquite, Nevada, and, and I won the tournament and coming back, we decided to stop in Vegas because we never really spent time in Vegas. My dad goes, hey, let's go to the MGM, check out the venue. And I told my dad, don't worry, dad, I'm going a, I'm to a fight there one day. At what point in your career did you think, I could be a champion? When I won my first professional fight, I was on the Marquez Pacquiao's on the card. I mean, I said, you know what, I think I got the skills to compete in that level. That was 2012. Today, Ramirez is a two-belt champion. But even as he heads into a career-defining unification bout, his past informs his present. He chose me to be his trainer because we come from similar backgrounds. My parents also came from Mexico to work in the fields. His parents worked in the fields also, and I think that's what makes somebody that tough. Would Jose Ramirez be the two-belt world champion he is today if he hadn't grown up picking peppers? He's still very talented. He's got great power, but I, I truly believe that that's what made him the champion that he is now. But even with that rarest of chances to become undisputed, he feels a curious lack of recognition. I think I'm just a quiet guy, you know? I, I don't think I have the style that entertains people. I don't feel like he still has that respect. Jose works very hard every, every, every training camp, but this is the hardest I've seen him. After winning this fight, there won't be no doubt. There won't be no doubt that I'm the best one for it. This will open up the doors to the Hall of Fame. This is the type of fight that, that my name will be in the books as one of few undisputed world champions. Offensive surge here. Gets him with a big right hand. Josh Taylor hasn't been shy. He's gonna whoop your ass. Your style is all wrong. What's your response? You know, I'll do my talking with my fist. I'm gonna be too much for Josh Taylor. He's never fought a guy who's prideful of the bloodline that I have. He's never faced a Mexican fighter like myself. He's never faced a, a fighter who fights for so much more than just winning this, that simple fight. And that night, I'm not gonna let him be working more than I am. That concept of work at the champion's very core remains rooted in those fields of the Central Valley. They motivated me and they remind myself of my family and my own, my own lifestyle growing up. This fight represents not just business, not just entertainment, but it represents the glory. It represents the eye of a champion. It represents everything we've gone through since we were kids. It's legacy.